Hello Gemini, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is gonna be a how they feel about you bonus reading. So we're gonna be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you, what are the, their intentions towards you, and what do you need to know? Are there any hidden factors, challenges, things like that? All of that will be in this reading. So let's jump right in, Gemini. As always, this is meant to be a um, general reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So just keep that in mind. Um, if it doesn't resonate at all for you, then check out your other placements, your moon, your rising signs. I have a link to all of the playlists in the description box. So let's jump right in. For Gemini, sir, for Gemini, person that, Gem oh, obviously this is going to be a reading for those of you that already are in some sort of a connection, right? All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Gemini regarding the person they are in a connection with, at this time what are this person's energies towards gemini what are this person's thoughts feelings intentions towards gemini at this time what are this person's thoughts feelings intentions towards gemini at this time oh, okay we have the otter okay very cute the otter is very young hopeful fun energy Tell me more about what this person is thinking, feeling towards Gemini. What are their energies towards Gemini? Um, if you want to know about the decks that I'm using, Gemini, they're all linked in the description box. Okay, what are this person's energies towards Gemini? I want to fix this. I want to fix... Wow. Bottom of the deck, I feel guilty. Gemini, what are the chances that... By the way, this is my secret moon oracle deck, but I have two decks here. That are kind of mixed in and so i think it's fascinating that the same message came out twice so that is very interesting so this person feels guilty gemini they've done something here that they want to fix or maybe they made a mistake or maybe they hurt you in some way what are this person's energies towards gemini what are this person's energies towards gemini what are this person's energies I hope that one day you can, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Well, what the hell? You came closer than anyone at the bottom of the deck. What happened with this person, Gemini? I find this very fascinating. I won't lie because the message is the same. What are this person's energies towards Gemini? What are this person's energies? Towards Gemini. What are this person's energies? Towards Gemini. I can't deny that you are my soulmate. And bottom of the deck, I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Well... I find that to be very interesting. I feel like all of these messages go together. You know, with the with the otter too, I feel like a very hopeful energy, like someone that's very eager to be around you, someone that has a good time around you. Uh, you make them very happy. Maybe you make them feel young. You make them feel alive here with the otter, which is very sweet energy. Every time I see the otter, I just think they're so cute and, um, fun to be with you know sometimes they can be a bit uh young you know like young energy okay and before i jump into the reading i kind of forgot to say this gemini i'm having one of those days where i'm here but i'm not really here my mind is just jumping around a lot because i'm trying to prepare for the giveaway and all that stuff but um i have a new cover out for my love tarot made easy book um, so some of you that have been on my channel before you've already you already know about this book But I recently updated the cover and I think that it's really cute um, The inside is still the same, but I really am a fan of this cover um, If you haven't checked out my book, my book is all about learning how to interpret the tarot for love So just wanted to point that out before I jump into the reading. Okay <laughs> All right, let's jump in here for Gemini. So I have a spread that's going to kind of give us all the information that we need. So 
I've been really liking doing that lately where I already have a spread laid out and I just kind of go off of that. So let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini regarding the person they are in a connection at this time or the person that they are thinking about? What are this person's energies towards Gemini? What are this person's energies towards Gemini? What are this person's energies towards Gemini? So let's see what we get for you. Okay, so their energies, thoughts, feelings. Oh my God, the Ace of Cups. Temperance and the High Priestess. Okay, it makes sense. Um, So this is someone that's hiding their feelings. I mean, very easy. This is what I'm seeing. Uh, I feel like they're hiding their true feelings, but at the same time, they want to fix something. So I don't know how they plan to do that. <laughs> um, I don't see how they can fix something without communicating here in some way. What are their intentions or actions? King of Swords. Okay. Queen of Wands. King of Cups. Okay. So I feel like this is someone that needs to communicate, take action. Um, I feel like they're all over the place. I'll be honest. <laughs> which I feel all over the place right now too. So maybe I'm picking up on their energy. Um, this person, I feel like they don't know where to start. That's the energy I'm picking up. This is someone that they don't even know where to start here. I really think it's an apology because it's just all over this reading, but you know, we'll see. What do you need to know? Any hidden factors? 10 of wands, <laughs> okay. Death, Scorpio energy, okay. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Gemini's favorite tarot card. The Wheel of Fortune shows up. Bottom of the deck. Oh, the Knight of Cups. This is so sweet, Gemini. Man, I kind of feel for this person. Um, I do. Eight of Cups behind that. So I feel like this is someone that maybe walked away from you, walked away from this connection. Um, I feel like this... This is a very simple reading, to be honest. Um, I feel like there's something here that this person is carrying for a long time. Maybe there is an ending that is still, an, the ending between you, perhaps, that is still affecting them, or an ending that maybe they need to have in their own life. With the Wheel of Fortune here and the Temperance card, you already know what I'm going to say. Um, I feel like this is one of those instances where it's slowly coming together here and it's very slow because someone is, hasn't been open with how they feel here uh make no mistake this person has feelings for you they're all over this reading i have the ace of cups knight of cups and um king of cups here so their feelings are all over the place and they're not all over the place but they're very present here okay tell me about the high priestess what's this i want to get some insight into this high priestess why is the high priestess here four of cups okay so this person i feel is afraid of rejection gemini and then you know tail is old this time yeah the tower i also feel like it would be unexpected for them to open up and tell you this um i don't know if you're in contact with this particular person but i feel like if they were to contact you it would be like a tower moment like i almost picture you minding your own business and then this person contacts you and it's almost like a <gasps> I just, I feel that. Tell me about temperance. What's temperance doing here? Five of swords. Yeah, there's something that happened between you. This person probably played dirty or kept something from you or deceived you in some way or played you in some way, Gemini. Yep. And this has been, they're, they're carrying this guilt. That's guilt. This ten of wands is guilt. Okay queen of swords it's almost like i feel like they need to unburden themselves here tell me about the king of swords king of cups queen of wands i feel like this is all this is their intentions or next action so tell me about these energies spirit can you give me some clarity on these energies for gemini page of swords and six of cups so i think what this person's main intention or you know their next actions here are to talk about the past talk yeah to talk King of Swords, Page of Swords, Six of Cups, you know, talk about your connection, talk about what happened, clear the air. And this is something that's been happening over and over and over for Geminis. There's the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck again, because it hasn't happened. That's why it keeps coming up, Gemini, you know, and I know that some of these readings have been repetitive. I'm with you. 
you know, I wish I had a different message for Gemini's because even I'm tired of listening to myself. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, the reason why energies show up over and over is because there hasn't been a change. There hasn't been a shift. And, you know, going back to, let me get on my soapbox real quick. You know, tarot is a reflection of human behavior, human intention, and, you know, our thoughts, our subconscious, right? It's not tarot is not meant to be fantasies come to life you know that's not what tarot is tarot shows you what is real what exists okay and unfortunately for a lot of gemini's out there based on the comments i'm getting from you guys nothing has changed for you someone hasn't talked to you or you haven't talked to them there hasn't been communication there hasn't been a progression forward right so until that happens you're going to be getting the same reading as what i'm thinking here but I feel like, you know, the message is the message. So I feel a lot of Geminis are in the same boat. And then a few of you probably, there has already been progression in some way. Maybe someone has already talked to you, opened the line of communication. If that's the case, let me know in the comments. Has there been some sort of shift or change in your connection with this person? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. The Star, yep. And the Two of Pentacles. Aquarius energy with this star, there's the page of cups. This is an apology. This person needs to get this off their chest. They just need to get this off their chest, Gemini. But they haven't. I feel like this is like plaguing your person. Like they can't rest. They can't relax. Why is death here? Why is death here? Why is death here? Ten of Pentacles. Oh, oh my God. I hate... You know, Gemini, and there is the hermit at the bottom of the deck. Seriously? How many... Geminis and Virgos, what is going on? You got to get it together, guys. <laughs> I'm half kidding. I'm half kidding, okay? Some of you are dealing with someone that has a situation that needs to end. You know, again, repeating message here, Gemini. You know, I'm using a whole different deck for you guys. I haven't even used this deck in a while <laughs> like months <laughs> i specifically chose it for gemini's you know and the wheel of fortune still showed up okay tell me one more for death please why is death here spirit page of pentacles so yeah once again i feel like someone's a bit stuck um maybe fearful um i don't know if they're fearful of this ending or if this is something that's already happening because I feel like it's opening the door for someone to make an offer here. Yeah, Knight of Wands after that. Two of Swords after that. Yeah. So I feel Three of Swords, something's happened happening to this other person. Maybe it already started and it's still in the works, Gemini. But I feel like this is someone that um, is being almost pushed to move, pushed to act here. And they've resisted. This is someone that's resisted. Probably because they're going to hurt someone. Or probably because they're scared of being hurt okay let's clarify the wheel of fortune why is the wheel of fortune here why is the wheel of fortune here for gemini why is the wheel of fortune here five of cups and the king of cups knight i mean king of cups king of pentacles and then the knight of pentacles and the three of wands Gemini, how many times have we seen the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, <laughs> the King of Pentacles? You know, how many times do we have to see this person? I'm tired of this person, Gemini. <laughs> it's just jokes. But honestly, Gemini, what can I say at this point, right? I feel like the past is, is still involved here. There could be a cycle here with someone from the past with the wheel of fortune because the wheel is always turning i feel like this is someone that really wants to make an offer here to go after an opportunity but it's going to be it's it's like they're taking forever they're waiting for something um there's eight of cups they probably have to walk away from something you know what else can i say gemini ace of wands nine of pentacles do i have to keep going you know <laughs> i mean the message is the message. It doesn't matter what deck I use, what frame of 
sprites I use, you know, is the same message, Gemini. This person is hoping that you can forgive them one day. I feel like they're really scared that you won't. They want to fix this. They did something in the past that's burdening them. And they haven't been able to let this go. Like, you are constantly... I feel like the past haunts this person. It's just always there. No matter what this person does, I feel like the past is always there. In terms of, like, actions, their next actions are going to be to communicate. Um, it's just when. You know? That's the... That's the the magic question is when um, because this is their intention their intention is to tell you to talk about the past because the past is still haunting them it's still here so this is their their goal to fix something to heal something but they go back and forth because in their mind you know I feel like they don't see a chance with you maybe they think that you don't have any reason to forgive them you know that will stop anybody so that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this How They Feel About You reading. Um, feel free to leave me a comment if it resonated, if you have any insight, if um, anybody, if there has been any progression, don't forget to also tell them, share that in the comments if you'd like. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.